Hello guys, welcome to the part two of the next cloud installation series. Uh, today we will be creating or um, getting a TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt so we can secure our communication to our next cloud instance. In this case, we're going to be using the snapped package and a setbot to request a TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt. Without wasting any time, we're going to go straight into the agenda of this video. For us to start, the first thing we want to do is log into our command line interface. Once you log in as the administrative user we created for the last video, we're going to start by installing the snap package. So we're going to run the command sudo apt install snap. And once we do that, once that's complete, the next thing we're going to do here is install uh, the Snap Core and make sure it is up to date. As we can see, we already have that installed and it is up to date. And now we're going to go ahead and install the CertBot package. For me, that's already installed, but for you, this may take some time for the installation to complete. Once we complete that installation, we're going to have to create a symbolic link for set part. I already have that link created. Once again, if this is the first time, you're going to have that is going to go and complete and give you a successful message. And once that's done, there's two ways you can do to request a TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt. It's all going to depend on your setup. In this case, I'm running this at home at a virtual on a virtual machine. So what I'm going to need to do is do a manual DNS verification so I can get my um, TLS certificate and then do a port forward on my router to be able to port forward port 443 to my virtual machine. In your case, if you're running this on a VPS server, all you need to do is open port 53 and port 443 and then we're going to go on to DNS management and create our um, host name or DNS name for our next cloud server. So we're going to start by showing you guys what you're going to do on the DNS management side before we get to the steps on requesting our TLS certificate. In this case, I'm using Cloudflare. So if you're using Google DNS or something else like GoDaddy, the steps should be the same. So the first thing we want to do is create an A record for our virtual machine or VPS server. In this case, I'm calling mine cloud.geektogether.com. So I'm just going to add a, an A record for cloud. And then I'll enter my IP address and then I'm going to save that. So for Cloudflare users only, if you're going to proxy this um, host name, you want to make sure that you set up your SSL and TLS setting to full. If you set it to full tr strict, there's some other configuration you need to do and install cloud first certificates on your server. But for this tutorial, full should be good if you're going to proxy this connection. If not, you can turn the proxy off. So once you have this completed, you go back to the um, command line. And for those of you who are running this on a VPS, you just need to run the command sudo setbot dash dash apache. Once you run this command, you want to follow the instructions. And as you can see, setbot has automatically detected the virtual host of our server, which is cloud.geektogether.com, based on the SSL um, settings or the Apache settings that we configured earlier in the last video. So you just need to select enter and follow through the steps and complete the certificate issuance. In this case, us is going to fail because we don't have port 53 opened inbound. We only want to do the port forwarding of 443 because I'm running this at home. So this is not going to work for me. In my case, I got a failure because the challenge could not be um, completed. Like I said, because I'm running this on a virtual machine and I don't have port 53 open and port 443 and an external IP address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another option, which is going to be 
the manual DNS verification since my virtual machine is running internally on my network and we have a private IP address and not a public IP address. So I'm going to clear my command line and I'm going to paste the command. If you're running this at a virtual machine too, all you need to do is change the cloud.geektogether.com to the host name or to the DNS name that you want to use for your next cloud server. And once you do that, my bad, I have to run that as sudo. So once you do that, it is going to provide you a TXT record for you to put into your DNS management for said bot to be able to verify that you own the domain and issue you the S the TLS certificate. So we're going to copy um, the TXT record name. We're going to go back to Cloudflare. Going to paste the name on here. And now we're going to copy the value. We're going to paste that on here too. And then we're going to hit save. And once you do that, I'll say you give it a couple of seconds, between 5 to 10 seconds. You can give it up to a minute if you want to be safe. And then you're going to press enter in order for um, Let's Encrypt to verify. As you can see, we were able to successfully verify and our certificates were issued. There's one more change we need to do. So as of right now, we can still access our next cloud server using HTTP. So we're going to configure our host to only accept um, connections from port 443. So we're going to redirect everything to port 443. So for us to do this, we're going to have to go back to our configuration file. We're going to do sudo nano and then we go to sites available and we want to go to our configuration file. And the first thing we need to do on the, the virtual host for um, port 80, we want to add a redirect rule permanently. So you can copy and paste this. I'll leave the commands in the description section below. And then you're going to change this to the host name that you'll be using. And once you have that changed, you want to come down at the end of um, the, the virtual host certain. And we're going to add another virtual host configuration for 443. Okay. We're going to add that on there and then at this point you just want to change the server name and the server alias so we're going to do cloud.geektogether.com and we'll do the same thing here okay i'm just going to copy and paste that And so once you paste that, we're going to save that and then we're going to restart Apache, okay? Okay. I didn't enter my password correctly, so I'm going to do that again. And that restarted this time with no errors. So I'm going to go back to my um, browser. So we're going to try that with our internal IP. As we can see, when we do that, we're now presented with a certificate. It says it's not private because the IP address is different from the host name in the certificate. So the browser doesn't recognize it. But notice right now we're accessing the, the next cloud using HTTPS. So I'm going to close that and now we're going to go try to access it with the host name since we have our port forwarding rule active in here. If I try to access with the host name, you can see it fails because um, the browser sometimes catches the request. It still thinks that the domain name is not available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open a different browser. In this case, I'm going to use um, Safari. And now we're going to run this on a different browser and you should see this work right now.
Now we're able to access our uh, next cloud server externally with a valid certificate. But the only problem we're having right now is because um, our next cloud doesn't recognize the domain. So there's one more thing we need to do. We need to go and use your favorite browser and or uh, your favorite uh, text editor. So we need to go into the var www directory into our next cloud directory right here. And then you want to go to um, config directory. And there's two files in here. There's a config.php file and there's a config.sample.php. We want to make sure we open up the config.php because that's where we're going to be making a lot of our configuration changes. And once you do that, you want to come over to trusted domains and add a one under arrays. And now we're going to add our cloud.git together.com. So you replace this with whatever you're using for your host name or domain name. Once that's complete, make sure to include the comma. You're going to save that. You don't need to do any reboots or restarts for services. And once you refresh that, now you can see we can access our next uh, our next cloud instance securely over HTTPS with a valid TLS certificate. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel.